The MP40 versus OTS9, these are two of the most popular SMGs in Warzone and have the highest KD ratio among all subs, and it's time we figure out which one is the best by going over the stats. Welcome back, I'm Austin, and after I tell you the stats, I'll give you my verdict on which gun is better and the best class setup for each weapon at the end. Jumping straight into it, the OTS will have a better max bullet velocity with 763 meters per second to 624. This isn't a big advantage for the OTS because the meta bullet velocity for close range weapons is about 600 meters per second. Both weapons are going to meet that criteria. Now fast bullet velocity makes weapons feel hit scan out to farther ranges, and since we aren't going to be using these at 100 meters, we don't need a super high bullet velocity. When it comes to fire rate, the OTS is going to be miles better than the MP40 with 857 rounds per minute to only 6. However, if we add the recoil booster and 45 round mag attachment onto the MP40, its fire rate will go all the way up to 743, making these weapons a little bit more similar. And the reason people like faster fire rate weapons is because they're easier to use, and missing shots hurts the time to kill less because the next shot will get there faster. Let's switch over to see how much damage these weapons do, and the MP40 will be better when it comes to average damage at close range with 39.5 compared to 31.5. The MP40 has to do more damage because of its slow fire rate on the base weapon. And this is the first time for me comparing weapons on Warzone where they actually have two damage drop offs giving them three ranges. At mid range the MP40 will still hold a sizable advantage of 31.5 to 24. And finally at long range the story is going to hold true with 27 and a half to 21.75. Now if we want to take a look at a full damage breakdown we're going to be looking at head, chest, stomach, and limb damage. We can see that these weapons have a little bit different damage profiles. The MP40 has a way better headshot multiplier but the OTS has equal damage from chest to stomach but does have a limb damage fall off. This is good for Warzone because this damage profile equals a fairly consistent feeling weapon with upside on headshots. The best is when you have no damage drop off from chest to limbs but if we take a look at the MP40 it has a dreaded damage profile file where it actually has the damage fall off at each step making for inconsistent TTKs. This makes it required to have good aim when you're using the MP40 to get the good TTKs. At their second range breakdown it's going to be the same but the MP40 has a big advantage where it has a next shot damage multiplier and I know it isn't shocking because of the damage changing at every point on the MP40 like we just talked about but it does give it a bigger area to improve the TTK so that is nice. And now quickly going over the third damage range we can see the same story again the OTS is clearly going to feel more consistent with its damage at every single range. And before we go to close range, time to kill, let's get this video to 50 likes, it really helps me out. And jumping back into it, the most likely TTK at close range is going to go to the OTS with 560 milliseconds to the MP40 700. Now the MP40 will take one less shot to kill with 8 to 9, and the OTS requires you to hit three chest or stomach shots to get this time to kill. The MP40 will require you to do one of these three things to get its time to kill, four stomach shots, or two chest shots or one neck shot. The MP40 is a pain to explain, but the good news is it's super easy to accomplish any of these things at close range. Now you're probably thinking, wow, the MP40 sucks. Why would I ever use that thing over the OTS? But remember how we can boost its fire rate up to 743? That's also going to improve its time to kill considerably to actually be better than the OTS when you hit all chest shots. You won't do that every time, but the MP40 becomes insanely good at close range when you boost the fire rate. The OTS is going to feel super consistent with its time to kill because of its consistent damage output. And both of these weapons take two headshots to lower their TTKs to 490 and 600 milliseconds. That time to kill is with the base 600 fire rate mp40 so just remember we're probably not going to be using that in any class setup we're going to be using the one with the faster fire rate that i just mentioned before but let's look at that sub 500 millisecond time to kill on the ots which is still insane and before switching to the long range time to kill let's actually talk about the range on these weapons the mp40 will be slightly better with 13 meters compared to the ots's eight then if you guys remember we have a mid and long range damage profile so there's two damage drop offs and they're both going to have 16 meters on their secondary range. That means the MP40 has a super small 13 to 16 meter range for its second area, making it almost useless to have. We're just going to switch over to their long range time to kills next because fighting in those 3 meters isn't going to happen super frequently. The OTS will have the better TTK by a decent margin with 840 milliseconds to 1000. Now the MP40 will take 2 less shots to kill with 10 compared to the OTS's 12. You're going to need 6 
six chest or stomach shots with the OTS to get that TTK. Now with the MP40's increased fire rate of 743, it will knock players in 727 milliseconds with all chest shots instead of the 1000. So that's going to make it way better and making it viable to use past 16 meters. The good news for the OTS is that you don't need a headshot to lower its TTK to 770 milliseconds by getting nine chest or stomach shots, which is possible to do. But the MP40 built out will still knock faster. The OTS is a great close range weapon that is still meta in the correct scenarios, and so is the MP40 when you build it correctly. We have to talk about the recoil and how it affects their time to kill. Guns that fire slowly are greatly affected by missed shots, and you can tell that just from their TTK drop off of adding one more bullet to kill. With the MP40 when you use the 743 rounds per minute build, it will actually add 81 milliseconds to the TTK for every bullet you miss, while the OTS only adds 70 milliseconds to its TTK, making it 11 milliseconds more forgiving which is good to know. Now the good news is that the MP40 has almost no recoil on it when you build the weapon out, making it one of the easiest to use weapons in all of Warzone. You won't have trouble aiming it. Now the OTS is a bit different because this weapon has some kick to it. We can build it out to reduce the recoil, but the weapon is optimally used within 10 meters, so it doesn't make sense to adjust for this, and the recoil isn't an issue when you're fighting in close quarters. It is only an issue when you try to push the range and use it where you shouldn't be doing it. And I repeat, only use the OTS inside of 10 meters. The MP40 being so easy to aim makes it a good candidate to be a good sniper support, but its low bullet velocity does start to become an issue with that. I personally still like using the MP40 25 meters and closer. Taking a look at damage for mag, the MP40 will come out way ahead at close range with 1710 to 1260. The MP40 has a 45 round mag on the best class setup, where the OTS only has a 40 round one. This set is more important the bigger the mode, making it the most important within quads, and the MP40 is viable in every single game mode. While the OTS can be a little bit of a struggle in quads, if you're fighting a four person team, they're gonna have a thousand health, and you don't have a lot of wiggle room with the OTS for missing shots, making it a little bit better when you use it in duos, and switching over to close range damage per second, the MP40 when we have the 743 rounds per minute is going to be the slightest bit better with 444 DPS to 442. Most Vanguard weapons base stats are very bad, but once you stack these attachments on them, they get a lot better, and that's how they're trying to balance these weapons as they start off bad, but because we get twice as many attachments on them compared to Cold War or Modern Warfare weapons, that's how you make them better. The funny thing with Cold War and Modern Warfare attachments is that none of them will actually affect the fire rate or damage so they don't affect the TTK or the damage per second, but with Vanguard weapons they change drastically by adding one or two important attachments. If you don't build a Vanguard weapon correctly, it's going to be super detrimental. All in all, both weapons shred up close. Finally going over to the movement stats, the OTS is going to be a little bit better with ADS, movement, ADS movement, and strafe speed while they're going to be identical in sprint to fire time. Now the ADS movement is a key advantage for the OTS over the MP40 because at close range being able to move quickly and dodge bullets is super super important. However, the 10 attachments are super broken on Vanguard weapons still because I can improve the TTK of the MP40 while still being able to add 8 more attachments to help its accuracy and movement. On the best class setup I'm about to give you for the MP40, it gets its movement boosted to 5.06 meters per second to almost match the OTS. Make sure to subscribe if you found this video through YouTube search, and I know you did. That way you can get notified when more Warzone stats videos are released. And I've given you the information and it's time for my verdict which weapon is better. The MP40, until it gets nerfed because right now it's a little bit too good and overly used in Warzone, and the reason is that the OTS is amazing up close but can't be used very well past 10 meters, meaning we can't use this weapon on most of the map. The OTS is best used in buildings where there's close quarters combat, but most of the map is in hills, in mountains, in open space, and you can't use the OTS there. The MP40 is super accurate and mobile with a competitive time to kill. The sub build for it can be used super well out to 25 meters, allowing you to use it anywhere on the map. The OTS is still meta fighting in buildings, but the MP40's versatility makes it the clear cut winner. Starting with the MP40 best class setup, if you recall I said use the recoil booster and the 45 round mag to get the 743 rounds per minute to make this weapon absolutely fry. Now every other attachment is geared towards either making the gun accurate or better movement. So to begin with, the optic, a lot of people use the slate reflector like a red dot sight, instead of using one of these two iron sights to get an ADS speed increase, which I don't think when you're using gun 
only up to 20, 25 meters, so you actually need an optic. So I'll take the aim down sight speed benefit all day. And then quick is a super important attachment here because it increases our sprint speed. And then we're actually gonna be moving almost as fast as if we're using an OTS. And now the last attachment I wanna go over really quickly is the ammunition subsonic. Since I'm using the recoil booster, I'd show up on the mini map. But if I use this perk right here, no mini map ping, so it keeps me off the radar. Now, if you don't mind that happening, you can use incendiary rounds. It will actually make the gun kill slightly faster. The fire will tick away a little bit of health. But that's going to be the class setup, and we're going to move on over to the OTS. For this setup, basically all I'm trying to do is increase its range as well as its movement stats. So the GRU and APO1 Task Force increase the range from 8 to 10 meters, which is actually really helpful, even though it doesn't seem like a big deal. The KGB Skeletal Stock is going to help us with our ADS movement speed, which is what was really good on this weapon to begin with and then the bruiser grip plus three percent movement across the board plus tighter hip fire super helpful this gun is still going to be great in resurgence as well as duos in the correct areas of the map if you're in a building this is still a top tier weapon and if you want to know what long range weapon to pair with it i got a video linked on screen right now peace